You must excuse the towels hanging around my room. It is just because when I'm filming my videos in here with no furniture, the echo is a little bit too much. So it just slightly softens that just a little bit when I'm filming like get ready with me's and stuff like that, in particular on the mobile. But as you can see, I'm dressed up because today Lydia and I are gonna be heading to the Muddy Duck in Bicester. We've actually not been there. It's recently been renovated. We aren't gonna be going to the main restaurant. I think we're gonna be going to the pub side, just grabbing some afternoon lunch. Before we head off, I thought I would quickly share with you today's look. So I've gone for this Chester Barry jacket. It's actually quite a soft tweed jacket. Chester Barry have had a presence on Savile Row since 1935, I believe. And I picked this up probably about four or five years ago. It still just about fits me today. So that's today's jacket of choice. I've also recently picked up some really nice knits from Moss Bros. They're really reasonably priced and they're very comfortable. This is like a brown tobacco color long sleeve polo. Then gone for my Pinny Palmer white trousers. These are like quite nice and thick. So they're more suitable for this season. And then my footwear of choice, we've got the brown lace leather Crockett and Jones boots, which of course made in England. And my timepiece today is the Cartier Santos, which I have still got a missing screw on, which I do need to talk to them about getting that replaced. But anyway, we're gonna jump into the car and make our way to lunch. Oh, you're joking me! <laughs> Grumpy mummy! Oh. We should be on our way to lunch. I know, you said I'd... Little diversion. The drying off phase. Wait, should we let them into the living room just to dry off? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was bad. I just knew it was bad. It was all over him. Oh. 
the smell because then the, the hot water heats it up oh. like a, like a um, fragrant candle <laughs> and it's just horrific. Oh. Oh, you've got to your camera, not mine. Correct. Oh. I know. We are going to be taking out the new Range Rover that we've got on loan until R1 arrives. And I've just noticed they've got a control center in the armrest in the back seats, which is very cool. I've just hung my jacket up here. <laughs> Here's a quick sneak peek of what the car looks like inside. Suits you very much. Look lovely. It's so comfortable driving this car. You feel very high up. It's a lot higher up than our sport is, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like you didn't believe me when I was like, it's so different to our yeah. car. And then you get in our old car and you're like, wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I miss the other one. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and take care of squeaky pants and then we'll hit the road. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Mm. Park in there. Big duck parking. If it makes you happy, it doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> Amazing. I've been here before. Have you? Yeah. We have arrived to the Muddy Duck. It is the Muddy Duck, isn't it? Yes. What, do I, what was I calling it earlier? The Fat the Duck. The Fat Duck, which is Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. Yes, the Muddy Duck. Very good. Okay. Yep, I'm okay. taking a quick look around the restaurant. It's actually closed on Sundays. This is beautiful in here, isn't it? <laughs> I like the colour of the walls in here. Love the moons. Yeah. How lovely. And then, yeah, we do. This is the main restaurant. All of the lanterns. And then if we walk through, if you could choose which part of the restaurant would you sit in, the moon section. This is like a cabin, isn't I know. it? Wow. It's a lovely place to come. So you've not been here before? No, I haven't. I love that you thought you'd I did think I'd been there. This is really cool. This is very experiential. I mean, this is just nuts. This is like I just walked into a spaceship in the men's toilets. What's going on? How cool is this? This is our starter. We've gone for some small bites. We've got some arancini balls, a scotch egg, and what is the camembert? Camembert. Yeah, but what's in it? There was something. Garlic, rosemary. Garlic and, and, and rosemary. We've got the um, caramelised relish and then sourdough. I'm gonna show my one. Beautiful. So here we have the main event. I've gone for the pork belly. Lydia has got the duck. We've got some chips to share and also a mixed green salad. So far, food has been phenomenal and the service really good as well. Lydia's enjoying some wine. You approve? Thank you. Well, we've just arrived home from the Muddy Duck. Thoroughly enjoyed that experience. The food was fantastic. The service was amazing. I really enjoyed the kind of experiential decor that they had going on in there. It was a little bit different and it's not too far from where we live. So I feel like we've just acquired a new place to eat. I think we're definitely gonna be booking back in with some friends very soon. I'm wearing cream, pardon? We didn't book because they, we couldn't book that far in advance. We asked. No, 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 we didn't book in today. You said book back in. Okay. We didn't book today, we just rocked up and managed to get a space, but we will be booking in the future because I'm sure that it's going to get really busy again because it has only recently reopened. But anyway, um, a lovely way to spend our afternoon and we're going to get some comfies now and then just settle down for the rest of the day. The uh, dogs have managed to just stick paw prints all over my cream trousers. The only downside to dry clean only clothing, when they need to be sent in to get cleaned. If you lose them for a few days, 
and it's also a little bit of an inconvenience having to obviously organize that um, it's a lot simpler when you can just wash them at home but anyway i will leave the details to the muddy duck in the description box down below because if you are local or you're willing to travel it's definitely worth checking out Well, this morning Lids and I went for a nice morning walk with the dogs. It was really foggy, as you saw, and I can feel that we're getting closer to autumn. The temperature is still a little bit warm, but the scenery is really feeding into that time of the year. Over the weekend, we actually sat down and watched one of my Sky Originals. And as you know, as part of Sky Cinema Club, I feature a film a month. Now, this month, we are spoiled yet again with lots of options. Around the 23rd of September, we have Uncharted, which features Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. So I think that that's gonna be quite a big, big film to watch. We also have Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon, which is coming out on the 16th of September. This features Kate Hudson and is an American horror. A sci-fi will be coming out featuring Colin Farrell on the 22nd of September called After Yang. This is a Sky original. My pick of the month, Belfast. It's already out. It's a black and white film that features Jamie Dornan and Judi Dench. It's a semi-autobiographical film based in the 1960s during the troubles in Northern Ireland's capital. The film covers the events from the nine-year-old son's perspective and shows love, laughter and loss. I felt like the film had a really nice cinematic feel to it. So as always, if you do want to check out this month's Sky Originals, Blockbusters and films available on Paramount, as always, I'll leave them in my description box below. Now, this morning I have a meeting with the electrician because we are making good progress in the garden. I know that Lydia has been covering it over on her channel and I'm just gonna basically go through the switching and the kind of thought process behind the different areas of lighting and how they're gonna work because we just need to finalize those areas. And then I'm gonna spend the rest of my morning getting on with some admin, which is very boring, but very essential. And then hopefully later on today, we'll begin some work in the house. The work has officially started in my wardrobe. Nothing's gonna to happen too quickly around here because we still haven't finalized the color or the exact design of the center section of the wardrobe just here, because there is gonna be a few tweaks that are being made. But one thing that we were able to crack on with, we've got Andy here today just working on it right now from Summit Carpentry. We are actually just properly installing the door that goes into like the little loft space in my wardrobe. So just around here, there actually wasn't a frame that the doors were closing onto. So there was draft coming through. And so just to A, give the door something to fix back to, we're gonna have some soft close hinges put on. And also to stop the draft coming through, we're just installing this frame now, putting some new latches onto those as well, just so the job's done to a little bit of a higher standard. And we are also replacing the hinges on these doors, as I mentioned previously, just so the doors hold their form a little bit better. It may be that we add an extra hinge on should they continue to fall and drop, but for now, we're just gonna put some slightly better quality hinges on and hopefully that will tidy those up. Then, the big decisions will be made and we'll go into a deeper renovation on the room. But like I said, this room is just having a bit of a paint job, a new floor, and then some furnishing. So there's no major building works that are gonna be taking place. Well, I am looking forward to getting it finished. I'm really looking forward to getting paint onto the walls in here because I think that that's gonna transform this room the most. But today, I need to install a couple of Velux covers, similar to this, but you actually stick them on like tape and um, they're gonna be installed in Lydia's wardrobe for her. And if I like the way they look and I think they're effective, I'm gonna install them in here as well. So we are gonna get cracking on with that. Lydia picked it up, I think off of Amazon. I'll have to double check that with her. But the idea is just to diffuse the light into our rooms so we can film without the bright sunlight affecting our videos. And also, I don't know if you can hear, but these are actually like flapping in the wind. So when we're trying to talk to camera, it's really noisy and disruptive. So to have the stickers on would mean that we wouldn't have that noise that's being produced from these current diffusers that I've stuck on the window. So a little bit of uh, DIY today, some handyman stuff going down. The guys from Nicholson's are cracking on very well in the garden. There's been some great progress taking place. I know that Lydia's documenting all of the garden renovations on her channel. So we won't do too much of it here. I'll show you just the good stuff and um, that is what's going down today. So let's get busy.
Okay, so this is the product that Lydia has bought. These are the two Velixes that we're gonna be tackling. This says that it's window film installation instructions. Oh, there are instructions. Measure your target window, cut the film, clean the entire glass, scrape the dirt off, spray with soapy water, and keep the glass wet, and then peel back the film and attach the film to the window and align it. Squidge away all of the water and bubbles. You may need to do this several times. Well, let's take a look at this. I love that it's got creases. Makes my job easy, doesn't it? Don't push it to the line though, Ken. No, I'm not going to push it to the line. I'm going to have to take time off to go and do that for him. Yeah. So I, I spoke to him and he seemed okay. So what I'm saying to you is, when I give you a date, we've got to get a tower up now, ain't we? Yeah, which you said you were going to organise. I know it's like three years ago. Did I? Yeah. Well, we can just tie that through... Um... What's it called? What your, your people in it, whoever it is. Yeah, what are they called, remember? I can't remember where you got it from. You just want a tower that you can build, don't you? Yeah. You want a single, don't you? Yeah. At the moment at work, we're just flat out at our work weekend last weekend. That's how flat out we are at work. That's just normal work. And I've yeah. got a few jobs as well I want to fit in at the moment. I can't even fit them in. I don't want to come away from there. So what we're going to do then when I call you up to spray my wardrobe in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah so yeah, just let, let me, again, let me know, give me a bit of notice and let me know when you're ready for that and I'll book the weekend, I'll, I can book the weekend off. Okay. And that, that's, your, your, that's not a problem, but your dad's, it's like a four day, five day job I think. Yeah, it's a big job. I can't do it on the weekend. I need to take time off of work yeah. and dedicate that time to your dad. Yeah, good man. I appreciate you doing that. It will make them happy to know that there's motion in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know I said I'm sorry. I've not forgotten about you, but I, I am. I am busy. When do you reckon that's going to happen then? When, you, when do you think you'll be ready for you Well, I'm just waiting really for Lydia to, because she's the one that's helping me to sort of design that as it were. I'm just waiting for her just to sort of decide what floor, because she's saying put the carpet from what's in the hallway out there, and I'm saying I don't know how that's going to look in my videos when I'm wearing boots and stuff on a carpet. You want, you, you want floor, you don't want carpet, but again, it's you, you don't want carpet up there, do you? Well, she's worried that if I have a hard wooden floor, she thinks it will look strange from her wardrobe to the hallway to my wardrobe, having three different floors. But she's got wooden floor in hers, haven't she? Yeah, but she'll have that change to match my floor, but she doesn't obviously want a dark floor. Does that make sense? Right, I, I, I can't keep up with you guys, man. I don't know what you do. You do what you've got to do, Annie, yeah? She's going to finalise the floor. Once that's done, I'm going to get plumber in to move the radiator, Andy to strip out the centre island, make that good, pipe works back in, then you're going to come in and spray it, and then um, the floor people can come in and lay the floor after. Yeah? You want to do it after? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Well, no you, doubt you'll be. You can read the floor first now. I mean, take the floor, you know. What would you prefer, though? If it's carpeting, then I'll, I'll prefer to paint it first. Let the paint cure before you put the carpet in, because you don't want them to scuff up the paintwork as they're putting the carpet down. But if they're professional carpet fitters, you should be okay. Cleans the two windows. I've cut two sheets that are pretty much the size of the Velux's. And I'm now going to peel back the protection coat and then try and stick them on. So I'm going to keep the windows a little bit moist. I haven't got the correct scraper to install these. Um, I'm going to go and get a bank card because they are actually really good to use. Um, I do have the squidgy that we use in the shower. Um, so I might go over with that first and then go with a bank card to get through any bubbles that are created. This is my first time doing this, so I'm probably not going to do an amazing job, um, but as long as it diffuses the light and Lydia is happy, that should be all that matters. Oh, come on. Don't be difficult. It's my first time. So as you can see, the right side has got the sticker diffuser on and the left side doesn't. I know that it's going to have a good impact on the room and obviously it looks a lot tidier. I haven't quite cut that to the right size. That is very frustrating because it's almost the right size and light is not forgiven. And if you look just down the inside, on both sides there's about a centimeter and I've cut both of my pieces to the same width and I should have gone a little bit bigger and then tried to cut them down with a standing knife in situ but instead I cut them and that light is going to come through and Lydia's going to pull me up and show me a little bit of light hitting her as she's filming so I might end up redoing these but having said that I might not because it all depends on where she stands and where that light comes through and how that light comes through. So I'm not over the moon, but it's certainly better than what she had earlier on today. And I do have a whole roll of this to get this right. I'm gonna get the other one up now and call it a day because it is getting late. There you go, two new light diffusers have been installed, which hopefully will make Lydia's life a little bit more comfortable during her filming sessions in here. But I think that we could probably have done a bit of a better job. It doesn't look too bad at the moment because I haven't got any light coming through, but there is a finger size gap down all sides of this. And so I have a sneaky feeling that we will be repeating the process, but we'll see how we go. Because if we don't need to, we won't. <laughs> Well, as you can see, I've been busy continuing with the color samples in my wardrobe, and I thought I'd give you a quick update. We particularly like the horn blend, which is at the bottom, and on the opposite side, at the very top, from Morris & Co, we have Stand & Clay, which I'm also really happy with. I think everything else in the middle was either too dark, too light, or not the right color. And so I intend on essentially painting all of this or as much of it as I can with the paint sample pot that I have here. I'm not gonna get very far, but it just means that I'll get a clearer understanding of the uh, feel of the paint if I can get a couple of coats on. And then hopefully we're one step closer to deciding the paint color of this room.
Well, good morning. I thought just before I wrap up tonight's video, I just wanted to quickly share with you that I think, well, I'm almost certain that we have confirmed the colour that's going to be going in in my wardrobe, which means that we're now able to take the next step, which is to do the selection of the flooring that's going to go in here. And I have decided that I'm going to go in the direction of getting engineered wood. I believe that they compile plywood together, compact it, and then they actually finish off the top with a real wood finish, which I will probably go for something quite middle ground, like an oak finish. Middle ground is in colour. Um, I don't want it to be too dark, but I also don't want it to be as light as my current flooring. So it will just be something in the middle. It also means that Lydia will possibly be able to use that flooring as well, which is something that I know that she was concerned about. Because we're going for a slightly darker wall, it means that the floor can be a little bit lighter. And then all I need to do is orchestrate the trades to come in, uh, the plumber, the carpenter, the floor layer and the decorators and I will have this room complete. So we are making finally some good progress because selecting colours is something that is particularly difficult. Then obviously aligning that with fabrics and, and furniture, um, it, the list goes on. And so I am taking my time on this, but the colour that I've decided to go for is by a company called Morris & Co. And it's called Stand & Clay, which I guess kind of highlights that it's possibly gonna be described as a gray. But regardless, to my eyes, I see it as quite a muddy green. As always, the camera has an auto white balance function on, so it's not giving you the true color. I'd say that it's a little bit warmer than what you're seeing on this camera. But you know that we were toying around with Hornbeam, which I actually really liked, and it's not too dissimilar to standing clay, but maybe you'll see if I step back. It's just a little bit lighter and in person it's a little bit warmer so it felt like the perfect color for this room and if i go in closer you'll see it just takes the shadows really well it doesn't feel too dark i'm happy i'm comfortable and i'm confident that this is going to work really nicely and it means that we're able to move on with this little project and so of course i'll keep you updated on the floor progress hopefully this week i'll get some sample stent out but I have a very busy week ahead of me, and so I'm gonna wrap this video up and start a new one. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 5 p.m. As always, I'll leave the relevant details in the description box down below. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you soon.